Hi guys, it's your Malaysian girl Jean here. For Kuah Kacang series, of course we must have satay. Kan? And when you have nasi impit as well, you have a complete meal liao. Just add on a bit of cucumber and shallots and get some frozen kuah kacang that I did a few days earlier and then just heat it up. There you go. Own satay is that we get to pick the type of meat we like. I'm on diet so for me it has to be chicken breast. Cut them into cubes but don't be too big okay because it will be very hard to cook. 1.5 cm like that ah uh, punya cube. Okay ready. For Raju, I use chicken chops so it's juicier but he requested to remove the skin so I did that. But you can totally have it on because chicken skin make the meat more aromatic when we grill it later. The marination that we will do later is enough to marinate about 3 pieces of chicken chops or 3 pieces of chicken breast. You can mix them up, up to you. Then we do marination. Two stalks of lemongrass. Chop them up first before we blend it. Four shallots, seven garlic cloves, two inch of ginger, about one teaspoon of jintam manis, fennel seeds, but less than that pun okay je. One teaspoon jintam puteh, cumin seeds, same like fennel seeds, lesser pun okay. One teaspoon biji ketumbar, coriander seeds, also lesser a bit pun okay. Half teaspoon turmeric powder, one teaspoon of salt, three tablespoon sugar. Satay memang need to be sweet-sweet baru sedap ter. Two tablespoon of oil to help blend the mix until super fine. Fill up water until covers half of the ingredients and start blending. Okay guys, have to blend long long okay until super fine because we don't want to pergigit the spices when we eating satay later. Tak best. Okay, we gotta pour the blended marination on the chicken cubes okay? And make sure all meat kena marination properly. Put in the fridge to marinate at least half an hour or overnight is the best lah. The longer you leave it to marinate, the more flavorful it is lor. Then before grill, take out and stick into satay stick. Mine use about 5 chicken cubes per stick. Totally up to you, okay? How many you wanna cucu? If you betul-betul will barbecue this satay on charcoal fire, right? You memang need to soak wet your satay sticks first so that it won't get burned. If not, tak payah soak pun lah. Oh, yeah, when you sumbat the chicken cubes into the satay stick, right? Each piece of these chicken cubes have their own space, okay? Don't sumbat too near. Leave some space so it grills properly and individually. <clears throat> Introducing Stoneline Multifunctional Square Double Frying Pan. It has excellent heat distribution. It is integrated with silicone ring to ensure leak-proof turning and you can have perfect grill marks on your food and clean the pan easily because of its non-stick coating. This pan can be used separately too. It is easy to just dismantle in a second. Okay, so yes, this pan is perfect for grilling satay. You don't need to set up your charcoal barbecue to cook this, okay? As usual, you just place in your chicken satay and then let it cook for a little bit. Before that, I spray on just a little bit of oil because this pan is non-stick so I don't need a lot of oil. And then I'll just turn them around when the bottom part is cooked. While I keep rotating the meat to let it cook, I also add on half cup of oil with the remaining of marination juice. And then just use a crushed lemongrass stalk and brush it on the meat. When all sides of the satay are golden golden nut already, you can take out and continue to cook all lah. Cantik leh my satay. Hmm, pretty the. Exactly like how it was to be grilled on top of the barbecue charcoal. A charcoal barbecue kan? Okay, what satay without nasi impit kan? This recipe is from an Indonesian YouTuber lah, okay? I'm cooking 1 cup of rice, wash the rice properly, then add in 1 knot of pandan leaves, like 3-4 helai like that lah, 1 crushed lemongrass, half teaspoon of salt, 
and one cup of rice usually you have to use two cups of water kan but for nasi impit we gonna use two and a half cup water which is half cup more water so it gets really lambat lambat soft soft like that lah halfway through you need to kacau kacau your rice to ensure the pandan and lemongrass aroma is being soaked evenly throughout all the rice that you have in the rice cooker lah, okay when done cooking take out pandan and lemongrass put in a tablespoon of oil and then start to mix around to make sure that it's evenly coated with the oil and then you take out a bekas a container uh, whatever shape it is lah mine is rectangle like that Lay a layer of banana leaf in the container that is already burned on the stove top so it's flexible and aromatic too. Then put in the cooked rice and start to penyekkan, you know, press down the rice so that it is shaped and mampat. What is mampat in English? Huh? Okay, Google ready. Mampat in English is compressed. So when you're done that, you need to lay another layer of burned banana leaf on top and then you press down with another container or whatever that is heavy. La. For me, I add on even the pestle and mortar. Oops, my pestle is the balik. Anyways, just make sure that it's really heavy to press them down for at least an hour. If you can leave it for 3 hours, it's even better lah. Oh yeah, must do it while it's hot, okay? And then it will slowly cool down and then that's when the whole thing will shape. So after that, you just take it out and start to cut them into cubes and that's it. You have your nasi impit. This version is very aromatic lah. That's why I like it so much. And when you eat it with kuah kacang, it's like padu babe. Okay, you see this one uh, is already looking very good. But I have to tell you that I only have Indian brown rice at home and it's already looking real good like that. If you use like betul betul beras wangi uh, from those Vietnam Thailand type uh, ah, it will be lagi pretty. Then you just need to slice up some cucumber, timula, cucumber lah, and some shallots, and then you have a complete satay meal already. Who says at home cannot cook satay ayam? And when you add on nasi impit, it becomes a full meal. Of course, this kuah kacang was from the previous episode punya kuah kacang lah. We just frozen it, and then whenever you need it, you just take it out, add a bit water, and heat it up. There you go, you have a complete meal of satay ayam with nasi impit. Let's give it one try. Perfect. Okay guys, I'm gonna continue eat this chicken satay and I'll see you in the next episode of Bazaar Ramadan with Chip.